The next transformation that we're going to learn is the reflection. Now, you see up in the right corner, you have g of x is equal to negative f of x. The negative sign is on the outside of the parentheses, so that means it's an up and down thing. Anything inside the parentheses is going to be a left to right thing. Anything outside the parentheses is an up and down thing. All right, so if we see a negative sign outside the parentheses, out in front, that's going to be an up down reflection. So we're going to go up down and essentially we're going to reflect across the x-axis. So just like if you folded that piece of paper up, then it would blot that on the other side. So you're just flipping it over. Not too bad. All right, and this goes for anything. Negative f of x, you're going to go up and down, flip. Just like that. Again, it doesn't really matter what the shape is. You're still just going to do the up and down reflection like that. These are kind of not so bad. Reflexing, reflecting, <laughs> reflecting about the y-axis, you're going to have something similar, except now you see the negative side is inside the parentheses. Since it's inside the parentheses, that means it's a left-right thing. So again, take this on the inside the parentheses, left-right, choop, just reflects right across. Left-right, choop. And again, left-right, even if it's crossing, you can still reflect it. Just kind of like you'd expect it to look. All right. The combinations on these get a little bit more fun. The thing you need to remember, like we mentioned in the previous video, is the left-right shift is always and always and always first. The up-down shift is always and always and always last. Aside from that, what we're going to do is we're going to work from in closest to the X, inside the parentheses, and then work our way out. So, for example, if we had something that had a inside flip and an inside shift and an outside flip and an outside shift. That one always goes first because we always said we always start with the left right shift. Then we're going to do the left right flip. Then we're going to do the up down flip and then we're going to do the up down shift because that's always the last one. So let's look at this. Say we had negative f of negative x. We don't have any shifts to worry about so we'll just start working from closest to the x outward. So inside there we have a left right flip and then we work outward to an up down flip. All right. So we're going to do the left right flip first and go jujup, left right flip. And then we're going to do an up down flip and go jujup and the red position triangles again the final position of negative f of negative x. Now these aren't actually functions, so don't get all technical. I just think that it makes more sense with shapes because you can see shapes easier. And it's my video, I'm gonna do what I want. Okay, so let's look at this one. We have stuff going on on the inside, so that's always gonna be first. And then we see on the outside of the parentheses, there's a plus three. So that's gonna be our up-down shift. It's gonna go last. So we're gonna work inside the parentheses first. We see we have a left-right flip and on the end, the plus three means we go up. Okay, so we'll start with the left, right, flip. Left, right, flip. And then we're gonna go up, down, up, three, to the final position. Oh, well, that's not so bad, right? Okay. Try this one, all right. So we see we've got plus three on the inside and a minus x also on the inside. So we always start with that shift. So the plus three is a left-right shift. So left-right shift plus three means we go which direction? So the one's always funky, we're gonna go left. All right, then we work from the X and then the only other thing we've got going on here is the left-right flip. All right, so we're gonna start with the shift. Shift. And then we're gonna do the flip. Flip. Boom. All right, now this is why order matters. It's not so bad now, but when we get to some of the stuff later, it's gonna start to get a little bit funky. Okay, but you might say, well, I could get there any way I want. Trust me, just learn the order now so that you don't learn it and do it lazy now. Um, learn the order while it's like only four options instead of six, okay? Let's see, so we got this one. We've got three things going on. We've got, again, you always need to remember the stuff that's going on inside the parentheses is the most important. That's well, the thing you're going to do first. So the thing you're doing first is most important. So we're going to focus on the inside. We see we have a shift, so we have to do that first. 
a negative 3 shift means we go to the right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And um, then we have a left-right flip. And finally at the end, the plus 2 means we go to up. That's our up-down. Anything outside the parentheses is up-down. All right, so we've got to the right 3. And I'll be perfectly honest, the reason that I draw the little arrow to the right on it isn't just for you guys, but it's because if I wasn't paying attention, I would go the wrong direction. So I really do label them because if I didn't label them, I would forget. So I like to turn on my brain when I start the problem and get all the hard stuff figured out so I can turn it off for the rest of the problem and just like do what I told myself to do five minutes ago. Okay, so now let's do our flip. And we'll go zoop. There's our little flip across the y-axis. And then finally, we'll do our shift of two up like that. So see, that's not so bad. Here we've got stuff going on, on the inside. So again, I'm always going to focus first on what's on the inside of that parenthesis. So I've got a plus three, that's my shift. I always do that inside shift first. Plus three means I'm going to the left and the minus x, that's my flippy. And then I have a flippy outside and that's my up down. Anything on the outside is up down. So I'm going to start with my left three, one, two, three. Then I'm going to do my flip, boom, like that. And then I'm going to do my last flip. And go flip. Yay, it's fun. And here's one with everything in it, because that's how we know you learn, right? All right, we're going to focus in on the inside. We have a shift of negative three on the inside of the parentheses. So that's the left, right. Negative 3 means we go to the right. Then we have an inside flippy left to right. We have an outside flippy up and down. And then our last thing, the minus 2, that's an up and down. And since minus, we go down. All right, so we'll start with our to the right 3. 1, 2, 3. Then we'll do our flippy left right. Flippy left right. Then we'll do our flippy up down. Flippy up down. And then we'll do our shift down two, shift down two. And that's about as exciting as it gets for four transformations.